grace and peace to you this holy week. The daily feast for Monday, March 29th of this week, is based on the liturgical uh, reading, the lectionary reading of Isaiah 42, verses 1 through 9. It's one of the servant songs, and the reflection will focus particularly on the call that God makes to the servant. Here is my servant, whom I have uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice in the earth and the coastlands wait for his teaching. Thus says God, the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord. That is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to idols. See, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Here ends this reading of God's holy word. And here's a reflection on it. People who are committed to justice never give up. They do not succumb to what some have called compassion fatigue. Because the cause of justice is ultimately God's cause, one can be steadfast, knowing that even failures can be the prelude to new possibilities. God can take our little efforts, including our failures, and turn them to a greater good beyond our imagining. We are reminded in verse 5 that God is ultimately in charge of everything. Those are the reflections of J. Philip Wagaman. And this Holy Week Monday, ask yourself, what acts of justice define your life of faith? Let us pray. Thank you, God, for giving me a breath of hope when I most need it. Amen. God, walk with you as you walk with Jesus this week. Amen.